Hey Jake, is 5.5 eyesight bad? Welcome back. My name is Jake Steiner. I've been doing natural myopia control for the last 20 years, online for the last 10. I've helped tens of thousands of people improve their eyesight, reduce that up the dependence. Here to answer questions. This question today is 5.5 eyesight bad. And what that really means, 5.5 is minus 5.50 diopters. It's the strength of the glasses that the optometrist is trying to sell you. And bad is not really a term that means anything, right? Yeah, it's bad. The short answer is 5.5 is bad. 5.5 bad, for sure not good. The way we can tell, and to quantify this a little bit better than just bad, is if you put minus 5.50 glasses down somewhere and then wander around the room, forget where you put them and you're not going to find them again. Is that bad? It's probably bad. More specifically, though, to quantify what this means is without minus 5.50 glasses that you need, your 5.5, you can see about 18 centimeters of distance before you start getting blur. 18 centimeters or seven point something inches of distance that you can see unassisted perfectly clearly without glasses. Bet the optometrist hasn't told you this because the optometrist doesn't usually explain anything other than you need these and they charge thousands of percent markup. Glasses, uh, just so you know, wholesale, the lenses, a pair of lenses cost 2 to $5. So whatever they're selling you at whatever the price is mostly all profit. 5.5, 18 centimeters, a little over 7 inches that you can see clearly. Right Now, if you added 4 diopters, 3 diopters, you would just, instead of just seeing to 7 inches, you'd see to 8 inches, 9 inches, 10 inches. So the way the diopter works is it increases the bubble that you can see clearly. Right? So is it bad? It's bad. Is it fixable? Is it a much more important question? And to answer that short, short, short version is if you have a history of your glasses, if you know where your glasses started, they didn't start at minus 5.50. They didn't call me a wizard, call me clairvoyant. They didn't start there. They started around minus one at some point, right? Less than minus two for almost everyone, possibly less than minus one. Your myopia at that point, your nearsightedness was just too much close up. Screens now, books in olden times and I was still young, caused that too much close up. Your focusing muscle spasms while in close up mode. More videos on that. I'll try to link them below. The cause of that is just a muscle spasm. Instead of them telling you to fix the muscle spasm, which would make them absolutely zero dollars, they said, here, here, got these clear glasses, right? at the thousands of percent profit margin, not explaining the real issue. She got the minus one or whatever it was. Then the nearsightedness becomes what's called lens induced in science, in ophthalmology science, ironically. So the glasses cause your eyes to get worse. Not to get into that all now. Again, I'll try to remember to link stuff below. The glasses actually make your eyes worse. The glasses are a subscription model. Uh, retail optometry, you see these shops everywhere, usually in shopping malls. Hundred billion dollar your business, right? So all of this stuff exists to sell you an ongoing increasing subscription. Now to the question, can you fix this? Yes. They're going to say no, but exactly the same way it went up is exactly the same way it goes back down, right? Like it's a subscription that slowly took you up to this 5.5 that you can slowly back off again. Your eyes will adopt the same way they adopted to increasing doctors. They will adopt to decreasing doctors. Very simple. Not the point of this video. This video is just, is 5.5 eyesight bad, Jake? Yes, it is. It's 18 centimeters, seven inches bad. You can fix it, but you need to learn lots of stuff to do so. Hopefully helpful. See you in the next one. Meow, 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 meow. Meow.